Hi, everybody. It is Chris Peru in our North Conway studio, and I'm joined remotely by Doug Garland, who is the owner of Bear Notch Ski Touring in Bartlett, New Hampshire. And we're going to talk a little bit about uh, what makes this cross-country center one of the more unique places to ski in the entire White Mountains. Let's bring him in. Doug, how are you doing today? Pretty good. It just snowed out last night, so John's out grooming as usual, so things are looking good. Yeah, I know when uh, we get the snow and Bear Notch seems to be in its little its, its own little snow belt and uh, does really quite well when we get these storms, that those days are very busy for you guys. You have uh, many kilometers to get out there and groom, and uh, you do that uh, throughout the day when you when you have these storms. Let's let's uh, bring it back a little bit. You just mentioned your brother, John. Um, tell us about Bear Notch Ski Touring and how you came to, to start this touring center. Well, it really does focus on John. He was the one that came up with the idea. We had this pristine, fantastic family property, and uh, you wanted to do something with it. You know, we didn't want to develop it, obviously. We didn't want to sell it. But you can't just let it sit around and do nothing. And he was the driving force of getting us going. And uh, he got a groomer out of the uh, Nansen Ski Club up in Berlin, one of the oldest ski clubs in, I think, in the whole country is, is one of those. And we got that, and I think it was a basket case. They put the transmission together and everything. And the first year, we started out with just a donation box. And uh, we had grown probably about 10 kilometers of trails. There were trails that we had well established already. Uh, and the donation box also had a suggestion box on the side of it. So the suggestions were they, did, they actually loved the terrain and they liked the actual opportunity to ski in the upper Soccer River Valley, areas they hadn't seen yet, but they wanted more terrain. They wanted, a, you know, a warming station. And uh, so basically we took the suggestions in and we opened up a warming station. We started doing rentals. Uh, we got ourselves a piston bully and uh, we expanded our network into like a 60 plus K network now that has basically something for everybody. And guess what? John's still out grooming 26 <laughs> years later. You know, so I don't think you'll find a groomer in the valley for doing that. That's quite the history. Now, what will people find today when they come to Bear Notch? Because it's not 10 kilometers anymore. You can tour almost the entire Saco River Valley, the northern section of it, yeah. uh, and beyond. Yeah, really, it is. Uh, we have expanded network to 60, over 60 kilometers. Uh, right now, we're currently grooming on 40 of them. It extends from here right down to Adatash, which is about a four and a half mile one way ski. Uh, but it branches out from the base of the valley into these high hills, which are anywhere from medium, intermediate to expert terrain. But our ace in the hole, it always will be, our scenic and simple Saco River Trail. Uh, a beginner can get out here on the first time out and they'll go down to the, the upper meadows. They won't see anything as far as houses. They'll get out to pristine Saco River. And once they get there, they're hooked. It's a meticulous groomed every day. And uh, beginners just love that train, as well as advanced and expert. We have a loop that involves going to the earth. You do your work hard first. And you go up through the woods and you come down through. Then you get to do the scenic and simple on the way back. And it, everybody loves that one. That is fantastic. Now, how do people in this uh, year of, of COVID, what are your operations like? How can people ski at Bear Notch? Right now, we're doing it by reservations. We we have what we call Bear Notch Believe Pass holders, and we actually doubled those this year. And above and beyond that, we're doing 75 day pass holders. Uh, we do request that people call ahead and reserve those. Uh, that way, it gives us a chance to know what we're up against each day. Uh, we basically, it's like going to a restaurant where you call up and say you'd like tickets for two and I'll show up around 10. Uh, when you get here, there's an open flag on the front porch. Uh, we are taking checks and cash. Uh, we bring out the two tickets, a day map for what the trails have been done that day. You deposit the money in there and then you're on your way to bear day. Great terrain. You know, it's great because it's, 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 uh, it's groomed you know, by a family member every day. It's not just a job. Probably. It's. We stress like a laid back family, family and dog friendly network. You know, I think we're one of the only networks that allow well behaved dogs and well behaved dog owners to ski with throughout our whole network. And uh, people find that to be a real advantage and it really does work out well for everybody. All right, fantastic. We've been talking with Doug Garland, Bear Notch Ski Touring. Uh, Doug, anything to add before we say goodbye? I know, just a team's fantastic and come on out and enjoy it. All right. Well, we hope you. Take a band on, believe that. You will. Thank you so much for joining us, Doug. 
and we'll see you out on the trails.